Right, and here we are with the car mode. Um, a little, not a lot more. Well, I suppose there is a bit of difference because we've, this is the underside part of uh, the jet mode. Uh, as you can see already, it's a lot more compact than uh, the jet was. Um, this was obviously where the front of the jet was, and these two formed the the nose cone, which have now been separated. And I assume, I'll just push, oops, just push those in. And they're supposed to be, I guess, headlights. Just guessing, maybe. I don't know. Um, the wheels are very nice as well. Nice chroming around here. You can even see the pen in it when I move it up and down. Look at that. That's how good the chroming is on it. It's perfect. Uh, little bits pushed in there as well, which is nice. Uh, same for both wheels. Uh, turn this guy around. Not great looking from the back. Uh, he's alright from the side, but this is really the best angle. It's nice that the guns fit in on the top here. It means that uh, unlike his Rhino mode, you you do have somewhere to store them. And it's not too bad. It's not a bad looking bit. Just turn it on its side because I'll probably not be able to show you this for the tank mode. Uh, weird little circly bits. Uh, nice little indents in them and little bits of detail are shoved in. Not really sure what they're for, but they're nice, I guess. Uh, they give it a bit more uh, than it just being black here with a white bit. It gives it that little extra. I'll talk about this bit and this bit uh, for the tank mode uh, later on. Um, I'm getting stuck of what to say because my least favourite mode. I mean, he rolls well, I suppose. Uh, another problem is he does kind of. Uh, as you can see there, I suppose you could call that like suspension, like oh, what is up? I'm going to pick up some ladies. But apart from that, it is a little bit irritating that it doesn't lie completely flat. Sorry, <laughs> I was just playing. Um, but yeah, I guess I'll move on to the next mode, which ooh, well, I think it'll be the tank. So I'll see you for the tank mode right in a moment. Now on to one of my personal favourite uh, alt modes for this guy, his tank mode. And it is incredibly impressive I think. Um, it is better than the car mode because these red bits have been pulled forward and it does give the extra colour to it than it just being the grey and, um, sorry not the grey, the black and the white and the bits of silver. Uh, as you can see it's armed to the teeth with weaponry. Um, and this is again where Great Shot kind of is in some ways superior to, to the Six Shot mode because of these giant things on on um, on his shoulders. Uh, they do give him a lot more oomph in this mode anyway, and in his other modes that use uh, these cannons as well. Uh, same with Six Shot, he has both of his uh, hand weapons attached to the side, and his little guns appear from the bottom there. What uh, Great Shot does miss, however, is a little cockpit that sits about here. Um, in his wolf or puma or whatever you want to call it, the bottom jaw uh, flips forward into like a little cockpit. However, because uh, Great Shot doesn't turn into a puma, he turns into a rhino, it doesn't have one. But I don't think it really takes away that much from it, just not having a little cockpit there. So, you know, uh, very nice again. Doesn't have moving tank treads, but. He's a six changer. It'd be very, very complicated to do it, and let's be fair. Hasbro uh, and Takara in those days, well, they weren't willing to try it, and I don't blame them because it's a six changer. It's a feat of uh, ingenuity in itself. Uh, so, yeah, definitely a good mode. My personal favourite. Uh, and we'll have a quick look at the detail now, I guess, and move on to the, to the, next, uh, the next mode. So, I'll see you then. And we're back again for the uh, tank part, which I've just told you is my favourite of the modes. And it is, it's compact as the car. It's probably more compact, but it, it's really nice because uh, they've shoved the guns up to the top here and give it this really ominous kind of powerful look. I'll just arc the camera up a bit. That's where all of his guns are kept, which I haven't got straight at all. Well, you know, you can straighten them up yourself, I guess. Uh, interestingly, it has two little holes in here, which you can place the guns in, but... Uh, 
as yet I haven't seen the guns placed in these two holes. Um, I assume you can put them in for the tank or you can put them in for the gun mode but uh, they do look a lot better on the sides here uh, even if it does leave this big gap. I suppose what you could do if you're a big six shot fan or a big great shot fan uh, maybe scour the internet for some spare guns and just you know shove them in there I guess. I don't know. Something to think about. Uh, now I guess we'll talk about these bits which I didn't before so we'll just arc it a little bit. Uh, very nice chroming here. Uh, they've got wheels as well which are a little bit dusty. Uh, just so you know for uh, what mode is it? Plain mode. He's got some little wheels there for it and uh, holes of course in the top there for where the guns go for his car mode. And little uh, indentations put along there as well just to give it a bit more detail than it being bland chrome. Uh, again, these big guns come into play, and I've already described all of the parts on it. Uh, the wheels on the bottom, of course, because they're on this uh, twisting joint, which you just twist around like so. Uh, like I said before, it gives it a lot more oomph to it with these two um, twin double laser cannons on the side there. Uh, here, of course, you can see the tank tread area. Uh, with little wheels inside there, other little wheels, more tank tread detail. Uh, all around there but actually that bit there right there underneath there that tiny little white lump is the actual wheel uh, you know so you can't have everything it's nice on this part of the arm they do have it's very difficult to see but trust me they do have some little uh, bits shoved in here so it does kind of match with the 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 other treads so the treads would go kind of like along here well you get the idea, they'd run along here and into the back as well and again the these bits are done to, to match the rest of the treads and I'll talk about these bits in the rhino part because that's where they come in. Uh, now around the back it again looks a bit crap because this is of course the, the, the car mode bit and I put these two together uh, just to make it nice and neat. I'm not sure whether you're supposed to have them like that or whether you're supposed to have them uh, against the leg, but if you do have it against the leg, these wings don't close all the way back, and that is, you know, it closes to about there instead of getting all the way back. So I always keep it like that, just to neaten it up. Uh, so yeah, favorite mode, really love this guy. Uh, oh yeah, we'll talk about these. We'll pop this gun off. There we go. We'll pull it in. Well, just focus, excuse me, if you see my hands. Yeah, we've got little bits coming out here, 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 f on four points. So it goes around with uh, these little bits sticking out. Turn it that way, there, you can see it better. Uh, detail along the barrel of the gun, round little circles as normal. Uh, nice little connection there to form the two gun. I mean, uh, it would have been nice if it was separate in a way I think uh, with maybe a few more of these connecting it instead of just a big white blob kind of smushed together but what can you do uh, again nice detailing along here as well uh, but it again would have been nice if they had room you know to put in some more oh, sorry I knocked the camera there didn't I it would have been nice if they had enough I uh, did it again enough room this is a uh, tank mode there and we'll move on to the next mode so see you now for his next mode, and it is suitably impressive, his um, gun mode, which I'm sure has been described as like a, a full target master, a human sized target master, because he's just immensely big compared to like um, G1 Megatron, compared to Quick Switch, compared to any other Transformer, well, you know, except for Masterpiece Megatron. He is perhaps uh, the biggest gun toy out there. And he feels perfect. I mean, they've got the these indentation in the wing, so you can your thumb fits around nicely, and it's got a little trigger there as well. Uh, it just all fits together really nicely. And again, not my favourite mode because it does have its problems, like these bits stick out. Um, and you know there are other little bits around, but again, it's nice and colourful. Uh, and it's suitably impressive. Uh, not best for display, but for playing, very good. Uh, a very awesome gun mode. I may not do uh, a detail part of this guy because he's going to be very difficult to balance, but no, I don't think I will. I'll just move on to the 
uh, to the next mode. So I'll see you for that bit.